Tomorrow, President Biden, former President Barack Obama, and former President Bill Clinton will all take the stage together to headline a high dollar fundraiser at Radio City Music Hall in New York. Sources tell CNN that Obama is planning to ramp up campaigning for Biden as the general election draws closer and that he's made it clear that the 2024 election marks a, quote, all hands on deck moment. Let's take you now live to the White House with CNN's Kayla Tausche. Uh, Kayla, tell us more about Obama's plans to help his former running mate. Well, Boris, President Obama has been lending his support both in private conversations with his former vice president and former staffers, as well as public fundraising appeals aimed at energizing voters and filling Democrats' coffers. I'm told that the Biden campaign has largely been instructing former President Obama on how exactly he can be most helpful, and I'm told that he's been more than happy to oblige, especially when it comes to bolstering support among demographics like black and Latino voters, as well as young voters. And while President Obama won't feature prominently on the campaign trail until really later this fall leading up to uh, the November election. He has already recorded a series of fundraising videos that are expected to be released in succession in the coming weeks and months. And then there is that big high dollar fundraiser that you mentioned that's happening tomorrow night in New York City at Radio City Music Hall, where three sources tell CNN that the hall there is expected to be well above the initial $10 million estimate set for the fundraising for that event, just underscoring the financial firepower that Democrats have going into November. Now, uh, comedian Stephen Colbert is going to be moderating a conversation on stage with those three presidents, what some uh, leading Democrats are calling a once in a lifetime conversation. But I'm told that that conversation is going to be more thematic than substantive. It's going to highlight what President Biden has accomplished in the last four years and what they believe the stakes are for the 2024 race. And to that end, Boris, uh, Obama's 2012 campaign manager Jim Messina tells CNN that the fact that Donald Trump is likely to be the opponent for President Biden in the race just uh, underscores the urgency of that mission and his willingness to help this year. Kayla Tausche, live for us from the White House. Thanks so much, Kayla. Let's uh, expand this conversation now with Leon Panetta. He's a former White House chief of staff under President Clinton. He also served as defense secretary and CIA director under President Obama. Secretary, thanks so much for being with us. Given the reporting, I'm wondering what role you expect uh, former President Obama to play in the 2024 election. Well, look, I, I think it's a good step that uh, the president uh, is having a fundraiser with both the uh, former President Clinton and President uh, Obama. Uh, they both got reelected as uh, Democrats uh, in the White House. Uh, they both were very popular. Uh, and they both uh, had a good sense of messaging to the average American. Uh, and I think that's where, obviously, uh, President Obama can be very effective. I mean, I, I, I think they have to be uh, careful about where they use uh, the former president. Uh, I would probably wait until we get closer to the uh, convention and then uh, to the election in the fall. Uh, but I think he can be a tremendous asset uh, in terms of reaching uh, not just uh, the average American, but obviously the Latinos, uh, the young people, uh, the minorities that are going to be critical to, uh, to Joe Biden if he's going to win this election. And specifically on, on certain issues, he can be an effective messenger. We, we know that uh, during his visit at the White House, he participated in an organizing call to celebrate the 14th anniversary of the Affordable Care Act. I'm wondering how critical do you think messaging on health care generally is going to be in 2024? Well, I, I think messaging is going to be very critical to the ability of Joe Biden to be able to uh, win this election in November. Uh, and that messaging has to be about health care, uh, about the Affordable Care Act. Uh, that messaging has to be about uh, the economy uh, and uh, what needs to be done to make sure we continue to improve the economy. Uh, that messaging has to obviously deal with reproductive rights, uh, which is a critical issue we just saw in a House race in Alabama uh, that was uh, to be a Republican district, I think. Uh, a Democrat won campaigning on reproductive rights and in vitro fertilization. So uh, there are some very critical issues here 
that I think could be very helpful to the president with the right message. So yesterday, President Biden finished up a tour of all 2024 swing states uh, that he started uh, after the State of the Union speech. The campaign is now apparently heeding Obama's warning to, to step up the number of events that he's holding. Do you think they should be doing even more? Well, I, I think it's a, it's a critical moment here. Look, uh, I think uh, uh, Trump uh, is in a difficult position. Uh, he's gonna be going uh, into a trial. He's not uh, able to go out and do a lot of campaign events. This is a moment where uh, Joe, Joe Biden can basically dominate uh, in the campaign arena. So it is important that uh, he get out to the country. It's important that they uh, well plan these campaign events uh, to make sure that they are successful uh, and that he continues to fundraise. Uh, all of those things are critical to his ability to be able to lay the groundwork for a strong campaign in the fall. Uh, former Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, thanks for being with us.